Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, okay, we have, yeah, the Ten of Wands. Your person um, wants you to know that they have quite a bit going on right now in their physical 3D world. Um, so if you have felt that maybe they haven't been as present in your connection physically, energetically, that could be why we have death. Scorpio energy, Ten of Swords in reverse, the, the Two of Pentacles, yeah, absolutely. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, the Page of Cups. So even with everything that's going on, they still want to speak with you. They still want to continue speaking with you if you are. They want to reach out to you. Seven of Swords in reverse. If, if they were sort of... Um, wearing a mask in the past if they were deceptive if they were lying they don't want to to be that way anymore um this can also be if your person was afraid in general to you know align with their truth and to show that um they're saying okay i'm ready you know i'm wanting to step forward and just be who i am completely in front of everybody we have the hanged man we have the fall in reverse and we have the tower so we have aries um Aquarius double Scorpio here so far the Empress in reverse is on the back Taurus Libra energy okay so I feel um something may have happened here between you both I don't know if your connection ended completely or if there has been a kind of an ending and your person wants you to know they've been reflecting on this there's a feeling here that they're ready to start a new beginning um to begin fresh with you to start a new cycle but they, they've got a lot going on in their 3d world so it's it sounds a bit lame to say that's keeping them from sending you a message or reaching out to you um I think it's more than that. They're saying, well, even if we started speaking, I, I wouldn't have the room or the space in this exact moment to let this flourish into something bigger. Um, let's see what's going on. I feel it's something that's temporary. Um, tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Yeah, Three of Swords. So they don't like it either. They don't like that they, they you know, can't have this full-blown... Um, situation with you right now so whatever you've got going on your person wants more more time more effort you know for them they want to put that into the connection but they're saying i'm so busy um i'm rushing around doing a bunch of things i can't you know catch my breath with a page of pentacles so for some of you there could be children involved they may be very busy with their child or children um okay the hanged man what have they realized please the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. So they've realized where they were bringing maybe some toxic habits, beliefs, thought patterns, behaviors, addictions into this connection. So your person has had this realization of how they were showing up um, and specifically the things that, that weren't working for you, for them, for the connection overall. So the, it's interesting, there's a feeling of your, pe your person has this outer world and they're very busy and then they have this very active inner world that involves you and them them being more authentic and, and communication with you that leads to something more that leads to growth so they're kind of torn and I feel it's stressing them out a bit because yes they have to keep up with their day-to-day -day things but at the same time there's a huge impatience to begin a new cycle with you you know to to have a new beginning here um so the tower and the eight of wands yeah six of pentacles wanting um equal give and take here reciprocity okay we have the sun in reverse leo energy i almost feel for some of you there could be a surprise meeting here that you don't see coming that's obviously if you say you live nearby or something like that except your person has planned it but you won't see it coming i think it's going to make you happy though and they might find a way to make this happen um, that involves whatever's keeping them busy. So let's say it's children. I'm looking at this card here. We have the adult ghost and three little ghosts. So let's say they have to um, drop their kids off at some kind of a hobby or something and your house is on the way maybe they stop by on the way or they've dropped them off and they happen to pass by your house and bump into you you know something like that it's it's like yes they're super busy but they really want to make 
They, they just want to move this forward with you now. So they might try and somehow find a way that fits in with their daily routine. Um, because there's such an impatience here. And I, I kind of feel that the perfect moment isn't necessarily going to happen unless they make it happen. Okay, what else, please? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There could be a third party for some of you, not all of you. The third party could be a karmic, a mother, um, a boss. If it's not um, an actual woman, it could be just quite a feminine energy here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So whatever this other person is, this energy, um, your person is saying, I, I'm not really putting any actual effort into that anymore, but it's, it's kind of stagnant. And the fact that it's here stagnating in the middle of our connection is getting in the way of me offering what I want to, which is a, a new beginning. And it's a pentacle. It's not just passion. It's not just love. Your person wants this to grow. Um, as I was saying, they want to have room to let this expand. We have, yes, yeah, see the Empress is here again in the reverse. So they can see so much potential. For some of you, page of wands on the back, your person might actually want to have a family with you, whether that's, you know, children, pets. Um, if you have kids, they have kids to, you know, sort of combine families. But in general, the Empress talks about nurturing growth, abundance, um, and they're, they're ready to step into this with you. Okay. So let's see what just popped out. We have, I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and I'm afraid to go through yet another breakup. I have to learn to trust myself more. To be honest, I feel it's more they're having commitment issues with whatever this other situation is they're committed to and asking themselves, how do I break this commitment completely? Or, you know, if it's parents, we don't tend to break that commitment. I mean, that's kind of an extreme situation, but as in to change it, you know, to adapt it, to break away from a certain aspect of something. If it's um, a romantic third party, then yeah, probably, you know, end it completely. I'm, a I'm about to reach out, but I'm so nervous I can hardly stand it. So much to say, explain and apologize for. Just give me a moment to get ready so I don't mess this up. Oh my goodness. And then look at this card here. I want to call or visit so badly, but I have so much to do right now before I feel I can give you the time and attention you deserve. But I'm working you up my list of priorities, that's a promise. And that's exactly what I'm feeling here. If this person could, you would be number one right now. They wouldn't have to, to move anything around, but I do genuinely feel that whatever they are focusing on, even if in the past it was silly things or other people, you know, like romantic people, it's not anymore. It's something genuine. It might be family, you know, like I said, kids, um, work. It, it, it's things they can't just kind of cast off and ignore, you know, um, but they are. They're trying to find a way to maneuver things so they can make, you know, proper space for you for this connection. Okay, please give me the space I need. I have to figure this out on my own so I can feel proud of myself. So they're saying, I will do this. I will figure this out. My limiting beliefs are evolving. I'm becoming more open-minded. If my beliefs were an issue before, please don't assume I'm the same way now. I am much more ready to listen to you now. So yeah, that's that devil energy in reverse with the hanged man. You know, they've really been seeing where perhaps they were keeping themselves stuck, limiting your connection. Okay. thought of you still does things to me okay so they are still moved you know when they think of you um emotionally in a passionate way as well so they are still thinking of you in case you were wondering um i miss you regardless of how things seem yeah and you may have been wondering do they even care do they even think of me i thought about reaching out to you but then i stopped myself do you see all this energy of i want to reach out actually um 
this isn't a good time because if I reached out, I might not be able to respond to you for three hours. Or, you know, if we if we talked, you'd probably want to meet, then so would I, but I have to do this. Do you know what I mean? Um, that they are working on making that possible. I just wasn't ready for you. Yep, in the past, they had these limiting beliefs. Um, they maybe weren't feeling strong enough to align with their truth. So perhaps if you kept trying to speak with them about things, they would say, no, no, you're imagining stuff, or I don't feel that way, or you've got me wrong, or, you know, that kind of thing. We have Pisces energy here too. Okay, you are never far from my mind. So your person really wants you to know that they think about you a lot. I still love you. And for some of you, maybe your person has never even said that they love you. So that is um, confirmation there that they do. And they still do. There are still so many unsaid things between us. Yes, like I love you. <laughs> Not for all of you, of course. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you constantly thinking about you, constantly thinking about speaking to you. Is it possible to forgive and forget? And we have, seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. So I'm seeing they have definitely gone through this period of um, growth, um, really thinking about things, self-reflection as well. The way we are so in sync scares the hell out of me. I'm terrified. Yeah, I don't think they are anymore. Maybe in the past, you know, this message here, where is it? Um, I just wasn't ready for you. Yeah, this one. Um, I think in the past they were, and that led to them denying things that you really felt and you intuitively were true. But um, I think they're just excited about this now. You know, they want to, to get this going. Um, I need to control this connection. I'm afraid I will lose myself in you. Okay, maybe, but again, I kind of feel they want to right now, to be honest. Um, maybe in the past, they needed to control this. I have faith that we will be together again. I'm holding space for you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make more space for you for this as well, so it can be a priority. Because it is, it's a priority in, internally for them, but they want it to be a priority outwardly, you know, as well in their physical world. I realised that you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that. Mm. So perhaps this connection has been triggering for them at times. I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. Yeah, so maybe it highlighted some of these tendencies to them. I developed these traits to protect myself. Exactly, and they don't need to protect themselves with you. We have, are you sorry for hurting me? Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know, maybe maybe you did hurt them and they're asking, are you sorry? Could be you saying that to them. Um, didn't we have something down here? Is it possible to forgive and forget? So maybe they're wondering, you know, there are some things I regret that I wish hadn't have happened or I hadn't have said that or I had said certain things and they might be wondering, do you feel the same? You know, are you both on the same page? Are you ready to um, start fresh, to move forward? Do you wish things had gone differently too? Um, I cried all night wondering why you weren't sleeping next to me and I actually kind of get a feeling of jealousy with this card. So um, if, if any of you watching have like a third party on your side, I don't think they like that. Or if they imagine you get lots of attention, not to say you're going around sleeping with everyone, but if they just think lots of people um, are attracted to you, that could make them jealous as well. My, my answer will be I do. So they could be thinking of marriage, but higher levels of commitment. I have to improve myself and my life to feel worthy of you. I actually think this is what they have been doing. That's what I'm feeling and seeing here. I really do feel like the final step here is um, either releasing a stagnant third energy so they can move this forward or finding a way to reorganize themselves and just slow things down 
so that they can prioritise focusing on this connection. Um, I think, to be honest, much of the inner work has been done. And of course, that's an ever-evolving thing, but it, it can happen, you know, the bulk of it has happened, the rest of it can happen, I feel, alongside the evolution of this connection. Okay, <clears throat> I have never experienced a love and a connection like this before. Please don't give up on me. Okay. We have reveal on the back. I want to tell you the truth. And I also feel they want to tell everybody the truth. They want to say, look, this is me. This is who I love. This is who I do not love. <laughs> this is who I'm kicking out of my life. I don't like fishing anymore. I like ice hockey. And I don't want to eat um, pasta. I prefer rice. You know, I'm giving silly examples, but it's like they just want to be authentic now neglected I fail to give you what you need reciprocity I want to have equal give and take so they're saying I was taking a lot in the past it's true I wasn't giving you what you needed and it wasn't just because I was being greedy and selfish I was in self-protect mode um, and now I realize I don't need to be that way with you and that's making me think of the six of well it's buried underneath but that six of pentacles that we had earlier on time I'm afraid it's too late to take action so they could be acknowledging for some of you if you've been waiting a long long time you know it took me a while to go through this transformation are you are you still there is that cup still around for me do you still want me disagreements I wish you understood how I feel so they could be saying you know I wish you knew that I do think about you that I do love you they could also be saying you know I wish, I really wish I could show you how crazy my life is and it's not that I don't want to prioritise you. Um, I am trying, I am trying to make proper room for this. Okay, we have soul tie. I always, I always feel connected to you. Okay, escape. I left when things got hard. Whoops. And to be honest, I think a lot of what was difficult for your person was... Um, really seeing themselves truly and feeling uncomfortable actually with some of the aspects of themselves that they were seeing for example any of these narcissistic tendencies okay secret i haven't told you everything yeah like i love you chaser i don't want to chase anymore okay so um i don't feel that they have been necessarily chasing you so maybe, I'll clarify, but maybe they've been chasing nonsense, you know, things that they realise haven't made them happy. And look, reunion, we will always come back to each other. And that is exactly what they're planning here, a reunion. So let's clarify it, Chaser. I don't need to chase anymore. What is it that this person feels like they've been chasing, please? Justice in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> things that have only led to an imbalance and a feeling of injustice. Um, whatever they have thought would be right for them has not been right. And also we can talk about karmic justice, karmic law. They're understanding that exactly what they put out is what they get back. So low vibrational karma, high vibrational karma. And they're saying, you know, I'm tired of chasing things that just bring me drama and stress and disappointment. So it may have taken your person a while to, to physically see and realise that um, it's a cycle, isn't it? And it's sort of, it, it's like a self-fulfilling cycle. If you put out something low vibrational, if you're investing in something that's low vibrational, that's exactly what you get back, you know. Um, there aren't going to be amazing rewards for that. So um, they, I think they've seen this in evidence. They've seen it play out. I don't know if it's with a relationship with how they may be behaved in this relationship, um, work, uh, friend, friendships, you know. It could even be in terms of their thoughts, they've been thinking low vibrational things and, you know, that sort of shaped the life that they, they live. I have nothing. Hmm. 
this actually feels quite freeing today like i have nothing you know i'm, I'm a free person i've shaken everything off um I am the fool, I'm ready to begin again. We have night owl, so this could be someone who stays up late in general. Um, they could be saying I've been doing lots of thinking late at night. And it's interesting, it's on top of this card that has an owl at the top here. So they could be saying I've spent a lot of time in self-reflection. I feel like I know myself more, I feel wiser. Okay, we have, now I see I've settled my whole life. Exactly. You know, and if you settle, I mean, that's, you're not going to get huge amounts of joy from just settling, are you? You might get some degree of comfort, contentment. Um, and that's really not enough, particularly when their empress is standing in front of them. Whether you are a woman or a man watching, that's, that's kind of how they feel about you. We have too good to be true. And in the past, perhaps they were suspicious because of this. I'm jealous. Yeah, I told you. So they don't want you getting attention from other people. It's like regardless of whether you're interested in this other attention or not, um, you know, they just they just sort of don't, don't like it. Okay, we have call or message me. Um, we have, yes, I'm getting your messages or energy. So if you're trying to communicate telepathically or through, you know, vibration, frequency, they are picking up on this and they do know or suspect, I suppose, that it's coming from you. We have artistic or creative. So that could be you, could be them. Also, this could talk about um, the solar plexus area that, you know, and even the sacral, there's a desire to create something here um, to begin something with you. We have wounded wow so they may have felt wounded in the past by this connection they could be saying i know um i've done things that have wounded you i've been getting over my inner wounds here we have prostitution and we have just want what you can't have yeah okay so i mean of course this could literally be talking about some kind of prostitution but with these two cards i kind of feel this person saying they thought you were too good to be true and they told themselves, well, you only want me because you can't have me. And I think they, you know, they didn't maybe value themselves and they were sort of just <sighs> selling themselves short and, and putting themselves here, there and everywhere else, whether that means in a romantic sense or just, you know, hanging around maybe the wrong crowd or something like that. Um, and they couldn't see in themselves the value that you could see. Okay, we have lazy <laughs> and we have confident. So, okay, they may have been lazy at times in this connection and you may have been saying, what's the problem here? I know you're not shy. I know you're not afraid. I see you being confident with other people. We have affluent, so they could have been working on their money, on their stability here. They could see you as quite affluent. We have a wish I could change your family and or friends. This again is leading me back to that jealousy card. I think there's people around you or they just, they've got it in their heads that there are people around you um, trying to pay you attention and they don't like it. Yeah, so if you're in a relationship, they don't like that. That's what they would want to change. Um, and they definitely do not want you to be in, 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 a, in a relationship that's not with them. Um, if they are in a relationship, they're saying, this is something I've got to, you know, this is, the thing I have to release and we have on the back will it hurt so if I make this change will it hurt and it doesn't have to just be a romantic relationship it could be the relationship I have with my parents is unhealthy you know I feel that I have to live the exact life they want or they're going to disown me something like that and we have love on the back okay um right so that is everything I think shall we finish with the pendulum why not I'll get that okay so if you have let's do three times if you have a question if you need to pause first of all please do think of your question you can um add more detail each time or change the wording if you want to or you can ask about three separate questions what i will say is please don't let this don't take this as absolute fact this is something that's just sort of a bit of fun because remember we're getting yeses and nos for a large collective so don't let this um you know devastate you is kind of what i'm saying if it's not the answer that you want okay so let's go with our first yes or no for the collective please spirit
Okay, so this is straight down the middle. It's actually right between a yes and a no. So I'm going to read that as a maybe or as an undecided or I can't reveal it yet. So maybe this is something that Spirit's saying. It's not going to serve you to know the exact answer right now. Um, okay, so let's go for our second time. So yes or no, please, for the collective. Okay, that's a no. Okay, and third go. Okay, and we have another no. Okay, so one unknown and two no's. So, um, okay. I will leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll see you again on Friday, but otherwise take care and speak soon. Bye.